If you don't have character in this game, you ain't gonna last very long. Tom Young's moved from centre to, you know, he was a England 21 international as a centre, and then moved to Hooker and spent two years at, at uh, Nottingham playing um, in the Championship before he came back into Leicester to then go and um, to go and, and do what he's doing now. So. Um, you know, first game at Nottingham, he's thrown ten not straights, and everybody's taking the mickey out of him because he's rubbish at throwing the ball in. Um, takes a lot of character to, oh well, I just I'm learning. And then he comes and plays for Leicester, and there's two or three not straight in the game, and everybody's you know giving him stick. And you're just water off a duck's back because he's got character and he knows that it'll get better, and he's got the strength of character just to and fortitude just to keep going and doing those things. It was enjoyable. I enjoyed it. I threw everything into it. You know, once it once it was ready to go, I. I threw everything into it and was ready to ready to take the challenge on and, and enjoyed every minute of it. Experience is everything. I think if you if you don't know, try, try different positions and, and and see which one works. I think, and don't be afraid to do it as well. Don't be afraid of a challenge to do it. I suppose. It isolates a skill set like passing. You know, you suddenly you're passing quite far. You know, the games are not long, but they're very very intense and. Um, they're, they're, they're hard work. They're really, really hard work. And I'm not going to joke. It's, it's, it's a couple of times I played a final against New Zealand in, uh, up in Edinburgh, and we lost. But I've never been so exhausted in a game of coming off the pitch. It pr pushed me right to my limit. To be honest, that's probably my first real shock of actually. I'm absolutely off my feet here. Um, but yeah, I, 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 I enjoyed my time. I thought, you know, I got to see the world a little bit. of one great thing, travel the world, and you know, as I said, it. it when your basic skill of passing and stuff like that really starts to test that under huge fatigue as well. So it's good. He's got quite a loud voice, he's a nine, so I kind of know what he's trying to do most of the time. And he probably knows exactly how I work and how, what I'm trying to do at times. He talks a lot to the pack, so I'm used to his voice being there and training the whole time, telling him that he's our eyes, basically. So it's fantastic to play with him. There's, there's nothing better than taking the field with him, whatever that is. And something we probably take for granted a little bit now, but something we can stand very proud of when we um, hang the old boots up and well, I'm back home and he's doing whatever he wants to be doing and, and you know, we can have a couple of beers over it and just enjoy, enjoy the moments and, and the successful and the special moments we've had together. Things happen, things go wrong, you know, plan doesn't work out. That's life and that's sport, you know, and, um, you know, it, I enjoyed, I did enjoy it, you know, I, there was a good group of players there, got on very well with everyone, I really did enjoy it. We just weren't successful, and so you don't enjoy it as much as you'd hope to have enjoyed it, kind of thing. So, um, you know, as much as it was a great build up to all of that, it's probably one of the lowest points of my rugby career, to be honest. Like coming away from that, not even getting out of the, out of the pool stage and being back at Leicester pretty early doors, was, um, you know, it wasn't, wasn't a nice time, but luckily you go back to your club and you go back to your other good mates you've got, and, and you know, you suddenly throw yourself back into club rugby and, and you start to sort of go again and, and get going again, really. Dad's a farmer. I'll, I'll go back home and, and um, you know, hopefully take the rain someday when I go back and I can't, you know, I'm very lucky as a professional rugby player to have something I can go straight back into. You know, I'm extremely lucky to have that opportunity um, to enjoy my rugby and but to know that there's something equally you know, I, I love doing as well. I just love, you know, being interactive on my own space and stuff like that. It's great relaxation now, but you know, one day it's going to be my job, and you know, I'll have to be making it work. I might have felt differently about it then, but I've always been passionate about it. Always enjoyed it. Um, always chose to go with Dad over going to the beach or when Mum's taking Ben or going somewhere else. I always wanted to go on the farm, and I've always loved it. Always loved helping out, doing doing a good job. I suppose is probably what you take satisfaction out of. You enjoy doing something. If you do it well, you enjoy doing it.